It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi guys, welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Thank you for being here. Uh, today's video is on little Ronnie Howard and how he changed a line in a season two episode. Uh, of the Andy Griffith show. And uh, you may have heard him talk about this uh, in interviews, uh, but I finally pinned down what I don't, I didn't get the line, but I got the episode that he changed. So let's take a look. It's hard to imagine that there was a time when Ron Howard's voice wasn't deferred to any, on any set. If you have talent like his on a project, any opinion shared would be held as gospel. Once upon a time, Howard was just a kid starring, uh, starring as Opie Taylor on The Andy Griffith Show. Uh, that his ideas were still respected as a credit to his peers on that special show. Almost from the start, I got to sit on on the story con conferences. Chiming in about how I thought Opie would sound, said Howard in a 1984 interview with the LA Times. I remember how excited I got one day in the se second season when I suggested a different line of dialogue and they actually took me up on it. According to Barbara Kramer's 1998 biography, Ron Howard, child star and Hollywood director, the suggestion was for a line in the second episode of season two. In Barney's replacement, a state law official comes to learn how Andy handles the job, and Barney mistakes this all for an attempt to take his place in the small sheriff's office. Howard said director Bob Sweeney was staging a scene in the courthouse when I came in and was supposed to say my line, and I sort of balked. Howard further recalled the details in an interview with the Archive of American Television. What is it, Sweeney asked Howard. When young Ronnie Howard gave his criticism, he said, I don't think a kid my age would say it this way. Instead of fighting the seven-year-old seven star, Sweeney took him seriously and said, well, how would Opie say it? Howard said he pitched a line, and Sweeney said, good, why don't you say it that way? Howard's response was priceless. He said, my recollection is I just stood there and started grinning. Howard, Howard said he remembered very clearly Andy saying, what are you grinning at, Ronnie? Howard answered, that's the first suggestion any of mine any of you taken. It was the first one that was any damn good, Griffith said. Now let's go rehearse the scene. <clears throat> I always wondered what episode that was in, and I always wondered what the line was, but I guess we'll just have to uh, watch the show and see what he says and take a guess. But uh, the episode was Barney's replacement. Um. That's all I got for you guys. I hope you liked this. Uh, please don't forget about classic rock, country music, facts, and trivia. It is on uh, Alex Van Halen. He's selling all his gear, uh, retiring uh, for a very heartbreaking reason. Classic TV facts and trivia. It is on Sally Struthers and how she said that if people didn't like the way All in the Family was, it's because they didn't get it. They didn't get what they was trying to do with it. And that makes sense once you understand, once you watch the video. Um, Classic rule comedy, facts and trivia, how, how Eddie Albert, before Green Acres, was a real-life war, war hero. I'm telling you, you got to watch that to see just how big a hero he really was. And I mean, he was a serious, a very real hero. Uh, all I got for you, please subscribe if you have not yet. Please like this video. You guys have a great day. God bless. And I'm praying for you.